Hey, it's Scott with Storyteller. A couple weeks ago, I had an opportunity to sit down with the BC team out in Roland Heights outside of LA. Um, and it's Brian Casella and Lloyda Velasquez, two YouTube stars in their own right, who really have a firm understanding of the correlation between real estate and video. And they were both kind enough to sit down and talk with me. Let me pick their brains a little bit about how they do things and how it can help the way you do things. Check it out. Hey, it's Scott with Storyteller. I'm sitting here with Lloyda Velasquez, who's kind of a heavy hitter in Southern California with the BC team. And she's also a, um, a big proponent and a big user of video. So I'm here to talk to her a little bit about uh, how that goes for her and um, how she started doing it. And um, the first thing I'd like you to do is just tell me a little bit about um, how you got to where you are today, just in general. Okay. Well, before I got into real estate, mm -hmm. I was working in marketing and advertising. I did a lot of work as a consultant that kept leading to other projects. And it got to the point that you know, I was pretty much living out of a suitcase from hotel to hotel, would never be able to see my family. And at the same time, I was in very negative work environments. And it's just something that I did not enjoy. Um, at that time, Brian, which I work with, had just started real estate and he had become very successful. And when I saw the success that he was having and the mindset that he has, which is very similar to mine, that's what really pushed me to go and pursue real estate. And that's pretty much just how I started. I followed in his footsteps, doing everything that he did to get to where he was, and here we are now. That's awesome. So we're, you were doing the marketing with companies before. Um, were you doing video then too? So did you already kind of have your foot in the video realm before you started with the real estate? No. When not I, at all? Not at all. Wow. I was actually an introvert growing up. You would never would have thought that I would be no. doing video or be on YouTube. It was when I got into real estate that I decided, and Brian also pushed me, to put myself out there on YouTube kind of to, just to share my experience and my journey with other agents. At that time, I remember going on YouTube, looking up information about prospecting and real estate, and pretty much every single video that I saw would be of men. I would right. never see women or young women that I would be able to relate to. Yeah, identify with. Yeah. yeah, and then that's what really pushed me to start incorporating and doing videos for all of the women that wanted to be in sales or in real estate too move forward and, and know that there was somebody out there doing what they wanted to do. Right, which is, I mean, that's really cool. And you said something interesting here. You said um, in sales or real estate. So you kind of envision your video as kind of a general, you know, this is for everybody that's pursuing these kind of careers. Yeah, pretty that's, much. That's pretty awesome. You, you do do a lot of videos where you focus on um, and you did say you followed in Brian's footsteps. Yeah. And um, you do a lot of videos. I've seen at least two or three where you talk about things to do when you're starting out as an agent. Mm -hmm. And one of the things you're always saying is do what the successful agents do. I love that thing about don't hang out with the other rookies. I think that's really yeah. funny because, you know, people have a tendency to do that. People in their same situation. Um, but in regards to like video, like you're saying use the tools they use and so on and so forth. One of the things I've been up against is encouraging people to actually do it. You get, it's like the lead the horse to water thing. How do you yeah. make them drink? How do you encourage people to incorporate video in their business and for their needs? Well, nowadays video is so important. So the way that I encourage others is obviously first you want to want it. Um, you have to have your goals as to why you want to be in this business. And once you have that set, incorporating a video to send to your potential clients, family members, or whatever it is, people will have a sense of almost like they know you. So by the time that they meet you, it's like, oh, Lloyda, it's great to see you. I've been watching your videos on YouTube. And it's so much easier for them to be wanting to work with you as opposed to if you're just like a random stranger that just shows up. Sure, sure. Um, how, how do you... How do you propose that agents use video? Like you use it obviously for a training tool to put your own products out there. How do you how do you use it specifically for day to day business in real estate? So something that we incorporate video in is that as soon as we speak to a potential client, whether it's a for sale by owner or an expired, immediately after we hang up, we do a short video clip introducing ourselves. Hey, it's Loida. Thanks for your time and sharing with me right now your situation. I look forward to keeping in touch. And I, when I sent that, they automatic, they automatically respond to me and say, hey, Loida, thanks for your message. I will keep in touch. They save my information onto their phone. And the mm -hmm. next time that I follow up, they know exactly who I am. Right. They know who you are and they know what you look like. Yeah. <laughs> I always make the joke back home when I'm talking to people about recognition. It's great because if you're going for a listing appointment, then they'll know that you're not a serial killer at their door. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> they recognize you right off the bat. Um, so... How about this and the other thing too? The copycat method's great. Um, I really love one of the things you tend to do as well, where you're telling people exactly what you do and what, like you did an entire uh, video once on the 10 apps you think are absolutely crucial. Um, do you think that agents should, as much as possible, 
do what you do, like reach out, like you can't, you know, it's it's kind of like you have to share what you have to stay sharp at it. Do you feel like it's really important for your business to be successful, to help other people be successful as well? I believe so, because if I'm successful and I'm sharing the tips that work for me, then it makes other agents be good as well. So it will be a less of a hassle in the transactions that I'm working with if the other agent knows what to expect, <laughs> what to do, as opposed to maybe deals falling apart because the agent doesn't know how to negotiate or how to communicate and things like that. I think that's awesome. So you're just yeah. set it up to make sure you're working with people who are at least as professional as yeah, you are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because there's a lot of people that don't know how to do their job in real estate. That's tremendous. That's tremendous. This is Lloyd of Alaska. You can find her on YouTube. You can find her on Facebook. You can find her on Instagram. And I, for one, am really, really honored that you took the time to talk to me. Thank I you. Really I appreciate, appreciate that. It. Thanks. That was yeah. awesome. Is there anything that you wanted to get across that you didn't feel like we touched on? Uh, especially for anyone that's new in real estate, mm -hmm. the persistence that it takes to stick through all of the BS that you're going to deal with, the negativity of potential clients or family that's going to tell you, why are you in this business? You're not going to succeed. Right. You're not getting any business. But just being focused and know that if you have your goals as to what you want to do and what you want to accomplish, if you're doing whether what it's I what I did or any top producer, you're going to get the results. It might not be as quickly as you want, but if you're doing the act, you're going to see the results eventually. Yeah, that's what when I was uh, working with Vulcan Seven for a while with uh, with Mr. Jones over here. That was one of the things that I kept ingrained to people. It said numbers game. When you're prospecting, yeah. you know, there's a formula where you have to make this many calls to have this many conversations to get this many appointments and that kind of thing. And I think that's true for almost any kind of business. And that kind of attitude can be applied across. Keep keep at it. Um, when you, like Brian was saying that he wasn't into the social media thing initially and he had to learn too, um, what were some of the things you did to, because he was saying that he just pretended the camera was the person he was talking to, what are some of the things that you did to help you kind of overcome any, I mean, I, I get the impression that you, you just turned the camera on and you were like, Oh no. No? No, it wasn't even like that. I remember the first videos that I would film for YouTube. Brian, I always asked him for constructive criticism and he would always say, you have to speak slower because it sounds like you're running out of breath. Mm -hmm. And it's through time and doing so many videos that you start getting better, you start getting more comfortable, more relaxed and more genuine in front of the camera. Oh, this is brilliant. We just tied this back into the persistence thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not going to happen overnight where you just turn on the, the, the camera and you feel like, oh. Oh, that's fun. awesome. Um, so you guys send videos for all your follow-ups and you were talking, uh, Brian was talking about building a listing package that involves video as well. I mean, is that something you guys are just starting to develop or is it something that you have in place and you have an idea of how it's going to look? That is something that we're starting to implement just because we know for the fact that a pre-listing package in our case, mm -hmm. it's maybe about six or seven pages and a lot of clients don't have the time to look through it right. or read through it. So right. the fact that we can do it in video mm -hmm. and it'll only be maybe five minutes tops. Right. And at the same time, when they see us, if they're looking at us on their phone or on their TV screen, when they actually meet us, it's almost like they're meeting celebrities. That's what sure. they almost feel like. Well, so, that's not kind of how I kind of felt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it, it makes it much easier for everyone. And the conversation and the appointment goes much better. Yeah, I can imagine. I can yeah. imagine. Hey, it's yeah. Scott with Storyteller. I'm sitting here with Brian Casella. Is that right? Yes, sir. Correct. Right. This yeah. is the BC team leader. And um, him and I were talking a little bit before we got on camera about the fact that he's setting up a listing package using video. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about how he thinks that's going to work. Cool. Well, thank you for having me, Scott. Actually, oh. pronouncing my name correctly, that's like one in a million. I told Lloyd I practiced all week. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> You need to post that video. Right. All right. So a video for a pre-listing package. Now, uh, it's not even a norm yet in the industry, surprisingly, that yeah. people would do pre-listing packages. We're very big on, you know, taking the proper steps, right? You want to pre-qualify. It's good for us. It's good for them. It makes the appointment smoother. And it just streamlines the process of getting somebody's home on the market and getting it sold in a timely fashion and in a way that is pleasing for everybody. So that package, we notice from experience, people were maybe a little hesitant or too busy to read it because it's a lot of, you know, writing and it's boring, right? We live in an age now where you have your phone out and everything's just instant, instant, instant. So I thought, okay, we're already doing video. Why not right. make a video pre-listing package where we can text them, email them, and it's just so much simpler, right? They right. can sit down while they're maybe in the bathroom or watching TV and look, you know? Right. Um, <laughs> no pun intended, right? Right. Um, and I thought, okay, cool. So what we did was we literally took some of the key points Right? And we're actually in the process of making it now that we can implement it. Mm -hmm. And it's just hitting the very hard point, the importance, right? Like the, the unique value proposition, right. right? Some of the stuff that we offer that no one else does, right? Some of the basics about the market. Very simple and concise from about three to five minutes. 
that will lay the foundation so when we get there, they already feel like they know us more, right. like us, and they feel, okay, we can trust these people, they're professional, and they've already sent us something that no one else has sent. Because right. this is the, the cool part about this is it's so radical in their minds because no one's doing this. Which is crazy by yeah. itself. Because yeah. only a small percentage are actually doing the pre-listing package and anyone else actually doing video, forget it. Because mm-hmm. right? we, we've been hearing this for such a long time, but I've met maybe a handful of people who are actually using video consistently and effectively. It's yeah, crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. And we were talking about a quote, I can't remember, uh, Ren had on our way here, and um, we can't remember exactly how it goes, so we yeah. have to paraphrase it, but it goes something along the lines of, um, video in your real estate business shouldn't be an option, it should be an absolute necessity. A must, yeah. yeah. a must have. And I find it crazy that even in a market like this, and I'm sure this is a really competitive market, yeah. uh, that more people aren't grabbing on. And it also seems like the kind of the place where people would be completely tech savvy and so on and so mm-hmm. forth. So for you, the most important part is to make it easy to digest points Mm -hmm. that they can watch and get all the important information to decide to use you as their listing agent. Absolutely. I put myself in a lot of instances in the customer's shoes. Mm -hmm. The the process of buying or selling a home for people is, oh my God. Really daunting, yeah. Oh my God. And then (laughs) then you add on the fact that people who have no idea about real estate are giving them advice, Mm -hmm. so now their head is exploding. And then if I get the one guy whose uncle tells them, oh man, I had this one realtor, he screwed me over. Right, that's the end of that. My barrier of entry now already and their emotions (laughs) are through the roof. So if I can, even as a differentiating point between me and somebody else, mm-hmm. make it super easy and simple and make them calm, that alone will skyrocket my opportunities of getting that client. Yeah, and this know. is on top of them actually watching it, it simplifies everything so much and they're just like, it's so easy to work with him. Okay, I'm gonna work with him, right? right. I wanna start doing stuff that removes those obstacles just by me looking at them. You know what I mean? With, no effort. <laughs> and we're already doing video anyway, so I thought, this is genius. And I actually got inspired just by watching somebody in a different industry, I can't remember, and they were kind of using video to do the same thing. I said, boom, that's perfect. I mean, there's a lot to be yeah. said for educating your potential clients. Absolutely. Because if they feel knowledgeable, if they feel like they're making yeah. the educated decision yeah. based on what you've provided, yeah. then it's a no-brainer for them. Absolutely. I think of how many uh, false datums are out there about real estate. So if I make a video and I give one point that they're like, whoa, I didn't know that, that already will get them to be like, okay, who's this? And more interested. Right. And that's where I believe we can uh, kind of create that little edge for ourselves and our team that really has been advantageous for us big time. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So are you every place what is as well? I'm assuming so. YouTube, Pretty much, Facebook, yeah. Instagram? Uh, yeah, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all over the place. All of it, all yeah, of it. That's my goal is Right. So I want that name burned into your brain, Scott. <laughs> it Everyone already is. Watching. It already yeah, is. There we go. NBC at least. And the car. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The you know, car is a crazy Lamborghini. I love the fact that you said the stable when you're referring to the stable. garage of the house. Yeah. There's a stable. Yeah. I'm going to need some more since yeah. you have a stable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no Ferraris. Though. I don't like Ferrari. Oh, really? What, what's your objection to Ferraris? Um, since, since I'm a little bit more loud and obnoxious, I feel Lambo is that brand. <laughs> Ferrari's more classy and a little bit more subtle. So, you know. guy in Scottsdale, Arizona, let me drive a three hundred thousand dollars Aston Martin, and uh, so he was my favorite person in the world yeah. for at least yeah. that half hour. <laughs> so, uh, Aston Martins? No, I like Aston Martin. Yeah, like I could see the Aston Martin being like the daily to the office right. and back. Yeah, then when I want to, you know, drift around the corners and go to the racetrack, I'll take the Lambo. Did she tell you that I told her to tell you not to bring the Miata? Yeah, yeah she did. She did. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't give me a hard time right away since I got in here. So video for everything, you guys are, I mean, you know, video, one of the beautiful things about the whole medium right now is that it's so easy to get the footage. You yeah. know, everyone's carrying a 4K camera in their pocket. Exactly. You know, and there's that whole, yeah. that old adage, the best camera is the one you have on you yeah. of yeah. all time. And, and it's just... I find it crazy that so few people are doing it. You're saying right now that in this market, this cutting edge California market, yeah, yeah. this is like new ground being yeah, broken. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I just find that amazing. And I just, I, you know, I'm hoping that you guys can help us kind of, you know, obviously I don't want to ruin your competitive edge out here, but I'm hoping we can kind of break people through that idea that it's not something that's easy to do. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it's a mental battle for a lot of people, right? And that's why I love about my channel and what I teach them is I teach them stuff that no one else is gonna teach them because I study that so much. For example, uh, I, I made a challenge for people. I said, I want you to go in the comment section after this video. I want you to do this one exercise. I said, I want you to go to your bathroom or wherever you have a mirror and look in the mirror, right? And mm-hmm. tell me the first three thoughts that come to your mind. They're all negative. Right? And they're all negative, yeah. right? So I said, if you, your own vessel, you yourself cannot appreciate and be happy or willing to look at, how can you expect anybody else to look at it? Right. Right? So something that simple that everyone's like, ah, oh, that, that's crap. It's not. Because if you can't do that, 
you're not going to turn the camera on because you know on the other end of that camera is other eyeballs and you're going to be like, nope, I don't want them to see. Right, right. And that's the thing to get around. Yeah. I mean, it's not like there's a bunch of people inside the camera looking yeah. out. You know, you, I, I think well, this is... hope so, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. God, if we found that out. But I think that might have been the same video about just to be an awkward in general. Yeah. You put this yeah. great analogy together about how if you walk in the room and all of your thoughts are inward, it's going to be obvious to everybody. If your first thought when you walk into a room is, how's my hair? <laughs> you know, or does anybody yeah. notice that, you know, it's yeah. going to be an awkward situation. Yeah. And I just really thought that was a, just to, to think outward, to pay attention to your surroundings versus yourself is yeah. a really great small piece of advice. Yeah. And uh, it's I, akin I, to smiling. Yeah, you know? I take a lot just from like watching some of the stuff on National Geographic and nature. You know, like the, <laughs> the lion's not worried about if his mane has a little root, a root right. in it or a little twig. Right, or even another animal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he just, he just programmed to hunt. And as simple as that sounds, I think a lot of that we can learn when we go into stuff like business, right? Because what does one person do? They make a call, maybe someone tells them, hey, stop calling me, get out of here, you guys right. are all hassling me. And he's like, whoa, then he thinks about making the second call. What does the lion do? Well, he fails this hunt, which by the way, they fail like what, seven out of 10 or yeah. eight out of 10. Something he like just that. goes and right. goes and goes. And I tell people, take, make the separation between like what you need to do logically and your emotions. You're gonna feel fear. Right. I still get nervous sometimes when I pick up the phone, but I'm just like, hey, that's, that, that's part of the equation now. I can't let this stop me. So if, if I let this stop me, I'm not deserving of a Lamborghini or a team <laughs> right. or, or that house I just got. Right. Because who am I? If I'm stopped by my emotion, that's what the average person stopped by. You have to demonstrate literally with that and every other task that you're deserving of the next thing. Sure. So same thing with the client. Well, what makes you different? Well, everything we're doing, like the video and all that. So I'm literally, through everything I do, from picking up the phone to this video pre-listing package, systematically demonstrating to everybody that, okay, this is who we are and we're deserving of this. Right, and this yeah. is what we're gonna do for you. Yep. This, this intensity is going to be applied Absolutely. to selling your house, finding your house, doing what you need done. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love it. It's great. There's an old acting adage too that says if you ever find yourself nervous, you have to channel that nervousness and make it intensity. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I this I suffered the same yeah. problem. What it was saying she suffered at the beginning talking too fast. Right. So I I get excited. Yeah. You yeah. know, <laughs> I'm just like ah, yeah. you know, and I start talking so fast, and people have to tell me all the time. Slow it down. Slow it down. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it down a notch or two, because people can't understand what you're saying. I'm a fast talker too, so sometimes when I get behind the camera. I'll take a few deep breaths before I get on because that'll force me to kind of right because it's literally about a rhythm and if you can slow that rhythm down then you'll be more uh, at that medium pace on camera sure because what do we think if we talk fast as someone talks slow we think hey they're slow <laughs> right. catch up right. Right. catch up right and if people every once in a while someone will say you need to slow down a little bit and then I'll just say the same thing again and they'll get it I'll say, yeah. see right <laughs> you just weren't <laughs> listening to that first you're not time. listening fast enough <laughs> sometimes in the studio we'll have uh, yeah. people come in and they'll be super nervous and they'll ask yeah. for a shot. And we're actually yeah. considering we're considering having a bar stock. Yeah, for people to come yeah, in just, tequila just to bring tequila. You got it. Well, when you're next time around Cincinnati, I'll make sure I, I don't need it, but I'll pretend like I do. Give you a double shot. <laughs> Are you silver or gold tequila? Silver yeah. all day, every day. Yeah, okay. Patron or something nice. Uh, Patron's good. That's like the bottom level. It we'll is. We'll start with but that. It's, it's the one you can get everywhere. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's usually for a long time you couldn't get Jameson's in uh, Cincinnati. Really? Yeah. I don't know why, but um, weird. it's everywhere now. Obviously, yeah, it's very yeah, popular. Yeah. But you know, I don't have a second. It's like if there's no Jameson's, I just don't drink that. Anymore. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Hold yourself to a high standard. I like right. That. Yeah. 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 You know, something like that. So we're off on kind of a tangent now. So oh, good. Hey, they're enjoying it. Yeah, they're having a good time. That was the whole point. Is we're open a Friday afternoon. Everyone be real casual. Yeah. You guys want to talk about video? <laughs> Brian, thank you Scott, so thank much you for coming. Oh man, it's my pleasure. Guys, my pleasure. Hey, I want to thank Lloyd of Velasquez and Brian Casella for taking the time to talk to me. Some really great information imparted there. Um, and if you want to learn more about video and how it interacts with real estate, check out storyteller.com. Thanks for watching.